Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft. Today is a special day uh, because we are going to be finishing off the Notre Dame Cathedral and I know I told you that yesterday or in our last video but uh, uh, we are actually going to do that today. I promise you by the end of this video this build will be complete and it will be magnificent. Uh, we have a few things left to do. Uh, we have to finish up the the church in the apps or sorry the I can't talk today. Uh, we're going to finish up the roof in the apps because we don't have any of the uh, nice stone domes. And we also are going to be finishing up the uh, the front here in the bell towers. We have to add in a floor up here. We have to build the organ that sits behind the stained glass window. And I will be doing something with these towers. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, so that's on the schedule today. Uh, let's get started. First up, we're going to do the apps. So you can see in here... We got some uh, exposed roof and just sort of a boring flat roof over here. I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing that I did in this part of the uh, the chassel. Uh, we have these uh, beautiful little domes with a little uh, lantern in the top. I am going to uh, pull my hair out and try to make that work around a circle <laughs> through the back. And it will be very similar over here. Uh, this is just going to continue around and it'll probably take me forever so i won't make you watch it but here we go boom she done uh, i didn't really have any plan when i was doing this uh, i know there's uh you could probably map this out and figure out some kind of geometrical whatchamahabits to make it work but i didn't feel like doing that so i basically just went at it like a wild man started throwing blocks in there and making these little domes and it, it's uh, it'll work you know it's uh as long as you don't look at it for too long, it looks totally normal. So uh, don't look at it for too long. <laughs> I did the uh, I did the same thing up here. Just kind of threw some blocks at it, made some domes, and I think it's working. Uh, I also noticed while I was over there that the uh, the end of the the high roof up here was not done. So I just filled that in as well and just sort of copied the style that I had over there, and that one that one actually worked out pretty well. So next up, uh, we're gonna come all the way over here to the bell tower. And I'm going to do the second level with the organ. And looking at pictures, I think the second level is about there. It's higher than this level, so we're going to have to have, I don't know, some kind of staircase or something that gets you from that level up to this level. And I also, <laughs> uh, I also realize there's no way to get up to this level at all. So my options are either a staircase like this right in there, or... What I might end up doing instead, actually, is just cramming a staircase back in here. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Just back in here. Going to have a staircase up to the corner. And that will allow you to get onto this level and up to this level as well. And we are going to carry this over. And there is actually a beautiful pipe organ up here that uh, sort of encircles the big stained glass window. All right, I think I got it figured out here. Uh, we got our floor level here. We got a floor level up there. Come over here. I built a, a nice little spiral staircase encased in some iron bars so that you don't fall off and die. Uh, that comes up to this level where the stairs continue. Is it going to let me... Nope, that wall's in the way. Uh, but yeah, that stair goes up that away, And it comes out right here. I ran into an issue where uh, my floor was going to cross over this window, so I just left this open and put a little wall there again so you don't fall down and die and uh, right here i've put in a little water elevator and that takes you up to the next level and it's of course stylized very fancy so we can take that up Whoop. spits you out there we got a nice little house there this is just a little hole where you can get back down it goes into that pool again so you don't die uh if we look up there that's the uh the top of the tower Go through the door, that'll take us out onto the landing here. And if we go through this door, that will whoop, that'll take us into the upper attic ceiling space. And I've added a bunch of uh, lanterns and torches so that you can actually see where you're going. And it continues through that part of the attic as well. And in the center here, uh, we will eventually have a spire. Uh, but for now, uh, i got to finish off this part because I'm happy with the way this is looking. So now I'm going to have to go to Dome Depot, get myself some domes so that I can fill out, finish off these ceilings and they will match the rest of the ceilings. 
Good news, Dome Depot was in stock. So I got a couple of domes and uh, we got this ceiling finished up very nicely. A little plain over here, but eh, whatever. Uh, I think it looks pretty good there. If we come up, you can see I've done a little bit of work up here as well. Uh, this is the organ or the closest thing that I can make that kind of looks like an organ. Uh, it's got a nice big oak wood base and then all of the pipes that stick up out of the top. And there's not much behind there, but there's some torches so that it'll be nice and lit up. Uh, and then just a little seat here for the organist and a little lamp. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of more torches in here so you can actually see where you're going. If we look up over here, I've also done this ceiling. Uh, yeah, lots of business for Dome Depot today. Um, so let's head on up. And I'll show you another thing that I did. Up here, boom, there is now a second elevator. So this right here for reference is the landing level with the attic. So this guy is now an elevator all the way to the very, very top of the bell tower. Don't have to turn up that one. Uh, so there we are. We're on the very top of the bell tower. Way the heck up here. You can see the rest of the church. You can see a long ways. But I know you're wondering, how do I get back down? Well, if we come right back over here, there's a little hole here. Let's go down. Whoosh. That one, I think, is... I, I like that one. It's pretty cool. Utilizes the same hole as the uh, the first level there. So you fall right from the top of the tower all the way down to the organ level, and then you can take the stairs down the rest of the way. Uh, so with that, we are now done. The bell towers, they are completely finished, which means there's only one thing left on this project, and that is the spire. This, of course, is the famous spire that collapsed during the fire last summer. And I know that lots of people on Reddit were, uh, of course, saying, burn it, burn it, burn it. No, I'm not going to burn this, guys. This is a piece of history. This is this is beautiful. I'm going to build the spire, and it's going to remain there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get started. Okay, so that's the spire done. Uh, I did actually have some more video of me building this, but my computer decided to do a silly, and it just did, it didn't work. So, uh, yeah, that's the spire. <laughs> uh, that's the spire done. And you can see we got a cross up there because, of course, it is a church. And we've got a staircase inside, which I will pop around here so that we can look at it. Ooh, come on. There we go. In here, this is a really cool tunnel, actually. It, uh, I'm glad this, uh, this turned out well because this is a neat space that I think you normally wouldn't get to see. Uh, but we're going to pop up the stairs here. Do, 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 do. Spiral staircase all the way up. It gets you up to the first level here in the spire. It looks pretty cool. You can see around there. And if we continue up the staircase, there is a second level as well. And the floor is a bit wonky up here because uh, I just didn't have enough floor space to fit the stairs in. But you can get to everywhere if you just do a little bit of a jumpy jump. But there you go, that's the second level of the spire. You can see a long ways. You can see the tower. You can see, whoop, jump. You can see the back. And it looks magnificent. And it just occurred to me that you haven't seen the entire thing completely done from the outside because part of the footage that was corrupted uh, was me copying over one side to the other. So there we go. That is the full build. Uh, both towers with the spire and the cross down the middle. I think that looks really, really cool. We can come down the other side here. And you can see the whole building in its glory. That's it. This build is completely done. It took me many, many hours. Uh, I actually don't know how many hours. I kind of lost track. But if I had to guess, I would say this is probably... Somewhere between 30 and 40 hours of building to get all this done. But it is done now, and I, I can't believe how well it turned out. I am so glad I decided to do this because it is just, it's amazing. Uh, I can't believe that anyone could build something this big 800 years ago. Like, it's, you know, you, you look at this and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we, we got bigger things today. But, you know, most people don't realize just how old this thing is. 800 years but yeah anyways uh that's it for today's video uh next week i'll be making a cinematic tour of this building to show off all the ins and outs all the nooks and crannies you're going to be able to uh 
fly through virtually and just see every little passageway, every corridor, and check it right out. So you can look forward to that next week. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next Friday. Thank you.